Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. This is the next tutorial in Python for beginners and today we are going to see that how to read and write an Excel sheet or you know, how to read from an Excel file or how to write into an Excel file by using Python programming. So let's switch to Python first of all. So before start reading and writing into an Excel file, First of all, you need to check in your include uh, in your libraries that whether your XLRD file has been folder has been available or not. If it is not available, you need to download and set it up in your library. You need to copy it into your this the required path. Python 34. Python 34 basically that's the version 3.4 version and that's in my C drive and in the library folder. That's the XLRD because the files required for reading and writing, we need this particular library. So we require two files so basically we need to read XLRD and XLWT XLRD is for reading from an Excel file and XLWT is to write into an Excel file so you need to import and you need to download and set up and in both the libraries in your Python directory once it is done let's start writing a program so I'm going to launch the IDLE first of all I launched the IDLE and in this IDLE I'm going to create a new file and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a test file so I have already set up a test file so that's the test file and we are going to read the data from this particular file we have got a student record that's a student file and we, the file name is test there are two sheets into this file into this workbook and there are 12 we have got 12 rows and three columns so Let's see how to read this file. So first is I would like to read the file. So I'm going to import, so import, and uh, XLRD, XLRD. This is for reading. Then I create an object variable here. Book is equal to XLRD dot open underscore workbook. And here we need to give the location or the file which we would like to open. So because if the program and the the Excel sheet Excel file is on the same directory that's why I'm going to write here simple text or the file name is test so I write here test dot Excel s and you need to be very careful about the directory the extension so let's check the extension is XLS dot XLS so I write here XLS and first of all let's save this file so I write read Excel file and if I execute it, it didn't get any error. It means the file has been created successfully and opened successfully. So first of all, we have opened it. Now I would like to get the number of sheets, how many number of sheets are available in that workbook. So I write here print and I write here book dot and sheets. When I run this, so it says two. It means there are two sheets available. So if you'll see there are two sheets, sheet one and sheet two. Now if you want to print their sheet names, so we can modify this, we can write a code for this. The code will be, the, or the command will be print book underscore sheet, sorry, book dot sheet underscore names and execute it. So we have got the sheet names, sheet one and sheet two. That's the name of the sheets and now I would like to read the data from the first sheet because we have two sheets so we need to specify that from which sheet we would like to read the data I would like to read the data from sheet 1 and uh, always remember that the sheet number this is sheet 1 this is sheet 2 but they, they it reads the data in in an index so that's the index number 0 and the index number of the sheet number 2 will be 1 so I, I, we are going to use the index number to read from this particular sheet so right here I write first underscore sheet is equal to book dot sheet by index book dot sheet underscore by underscore index and I would like to read from the sheet index number zero that is the first sheet then I want to print the value of the first row this row so I write here print first underscore sheet dot 
row underscore values and index index number is zero so when i run this we'll get student record student record is the index number because there are three columns so that's why it is and the three columns have been merged together so it's reading from column one and rest of the two columns it's uh, displaying as a space so we have got this specific row now this is row number zero this is row number one row number two row number three row number four and this is column one, column zero, column one, column two. This is column zero, column one, column two. So if you want to read this data, so this this should be, and it always go like this. First we use row, then we use columns. So the index will be used like this, rows and columns. So row number is zero, one, zero, one, two, three. Row number is three and column number one. So we can use the index to display the value of a specific cell or a specific row so how to display a specific value or a cell value so right here cell is equal to and first underscore sheet dot cell and i want to read this peter so row number is zero one two three four row number is four and column number is one obviously we need to print it so i write here print cell Sorry, it should be three. It should not be four. Three and see, we got the output as a Peter. Name is Peter. So this is how we can display a specific values. And if we want to display a specific row, so we need to write an, another command for that. So this is how we can read the data from an Excel sheet. Now next, if I want to create an Excel Excel sheet, if we want to create a new Excel workbook, and in that Excel workbook we would like to create new worksheets, and in that worksheet we would like to save a data. So for that we need to write a new program for that new code so i use the same program and instead of this instead of excel rd i write here excel wt and in import excel wt then i write here workbook is equal to is equal to excel wt dot excel wt dot workbook and uh, I'll set here encoding encoding is equal to UTF so it will read the specific means it will save the uh, UTF data here next is we would like to create a sheet so I'm going to create sheet 1 so I write sheet 1 is equal to book dot add underscore sheet and specify a name of that sheet so I write python sheet 1 then I want to add three sheets so I copy this three times and change the names sheet 1 this is sheet 2 this is sheet 3 python sheet 2 python sheet 3 and we would like to add the sheets so I write here and in this sheet 1 I would like to write a data or save a, save a value so I write sheet 1 dot write and in which cell we would like to write so i would like to write in the first column first column and first row basically in first cell this is sheet one so i'll let's copy this and paste it three times sheet two sheet three and here we'll change it so i write here 10 and this i change it to 10. this is sheet one this is sheet two this is sheet three and later on we'll save it so i write here book so basically workbooks dot save workbook dot save and the name of the sheet what will be the name of this workbook so I write here Python spreadsheet dot Excel let's test so in order to test this program I just run it and when I run it I'll got a message workbook created this I have printed explicitly here so as you can see here this I have printed just to get the confirmation just to display give a confirmation to the user that the workbook has been created now let's go now what will be the location of this file the location will be the current directory where the program has been stored so the program has been stored in python 34 folder so you can see a new file has been excel workbook has been created python spreadsheet the, the same name and the extension is also xls that's the extension xls and if i'll open it when i double click and open it you can see according to our program we have got three sheets one sheet two sheet three and their sheet names are python sheet 1 python sheet 2 python sheet 3 so you can see python sheet 1 
it's clearly mentioned here python sheet 1 python sheet 2 and python sheet 3 and uh, also we have got in sheet 1 i write a uh, statement in the cell 00 so you can see that's in cell 00 in sheet 2 we have write down in the 10 row 0 column so you can see 10 row 0 and this is in sheet sheet 2 and in sheet 3 it will be 0 row and 10 columns so if you click on sheet 3 you can see 10 columns this is sheet 3 so this is how we can read and write from an excel sheet it will read and write into an excel sheet excel file workbook that's all in this tutorial if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bisptraining.com you can subscribe to our youtube channel for more learning videos for beginners on python our youtube channel and uh, you can visit our website for customized training on python for beginners till then have a nice day